37,000 liters of salt water in a private house. In this video we visit Jack Elliott who has turned his entire house into an ocean. We find rare fish and a whole bunch of equipment. So have some fun and welcome to the aquarium house. Hello and welcome to Sea Friendly Reef. On this channel you will find the craziest aquariums in Europe. But today we visit a man who probably carries it a bit too far in this hobby. What might be a bit of a big deal for some is a smaller side project for Jack Elliott. At the end of his living room is this 6000 liter saltwater aquarium. The animals found in there would eat corals. Not that good for a coral reef aquarium. For this reason all the corals like this huge acropora plates were artificially made. So we are talking about fake corals. Since you can't buy something like that in a normal store, especially in that size, Jack Elliott had all these corals custom made. Every aquarium in this house is a biotope aquarium. These are aquariums that contain only animals that are occur in the same place in nature. This is actually more common in freshwater aquaristic. For example, this aquarium here recreates the Caribbean. The fish, the shrimp and even the corals in this tank all occur into the Caribbean Sea. Like a little window into another world right in the middle of Germany. Right next to it we find another aquarium that represents the habitat of Mexico. And again, this is not a zoo, just a normal home with a man who loves his hobby more than anything. Please write in the comments if you know someone who is at least as crazy as Jack Elliott. Since the water is colder at the Mexican coast, this aquarium must be kept permanently at round about 20 degrees here. This is the only way Jack Elliott managed to keep fish like this beautiful pair of Holocanthus clarionensis, a very colorful angelfish. As you may notice, Jack Elliott has very few fish in relatively large aquariums. There's a reason for that and we learn about it through the very large living room tank. thousand liter aquarium is round about one and a half meters high, three and a half meters wide and four and a half meters deep. But why he built such a huge aquarium in the living room? Jack Elliott says that he wants to give the animals as much space as possible. His highlight in that tank besides the yellow sweet puffer fish is a very specific species of tanks. 
the Acanturus achilles. There are 10 of these animals in this aquarium. These animals are actually very susceptible to stress, but at the home of Jack Elliot they are kept appropriately and swim comfortably in their group for years now. Here we can also find fish like the huge puffer fish which would eat corals. Therefore all the corals you can see here are fake as well. But if you want to see real corals you'll definitely find them in the bedroom. This two and a half thousand liter aquarium contains hundreds of soft corals. Again, we can only see very few fish, so that there is not too much stress for the animals. Jack Elliott has to feed his animals several times a day, so he has to spend a lot of time with his aquariums. Besides flake food, he also uses a lot of frozen food and additives like garlic to keep the fish healthy. By the way, here the fish eat the sea-friendly reef food. Seems to taste very good. Feel free to check this food out in the video description. Aquariums like this have to incorporate a tremendous amount of equipment to ensure that the water quality is always constant for these sensitive animals. For this Jack Elliot has rebuilt his entire basement. Here we find a total of four skimmers that filter the dirt particles from the water. In addition, Jack Elliott has installed a variety of UV system and ozone systems. The large living room tanks weighs about 35 tons. To prevent the whole house from collapsing, steel columns were installed in the basement. With all these tanks in his house, I wonder where Jack Elliott finds some room for himself. What do you think about such a project? Would you guys like to live here? Or what would you do differently? If you want to see more cool aquarium projects, feel free to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again next week.